Hello Mixers and welcome to the Memory Mixer Design Studio. If you are looking for a quick and easy way to thumb through your Memory Mixer content, this tutorial and quick mix is for you. It's our new preview catalog quick mix and it's only a dollar in the design shop. Let me give you a quick tour. The idea is to be able to print your content previews and put them in a binder. Once it is in a binder, you can quickly thumb through it. I've put mine in sheet protectors, but you could also punch holes and put your sheets directly in. This would also allow you to make comments or notes for future reference. So here's my binder. Of course, I had to do something for the front. My memory mixer stuff, and then you can see inside so you can have your backgrounds. It's all broken into different categories. So let's go ahead and take a look. So the cover comes like this. It just has blank photo boxes. So then you can drag your favorite backgrounds into. And to do that, simply go to backgrounds, go into paper. I'm just going to go ahead and use this floral. And remember, do it as an additional background. So I'll click on that. And now I can take my background and drop it into any of the photo boxes. I'm just going to scoot it off to the side because I actually want to put it in this heart. And now I'll drag it back over there and it'll go into the heart. So you just keep adding your favorite backgrounds. Here's my finished one. Some of you may want to skip this step and that's okay. Let's go on to our backgrounds or paper packs. Now it's all laid out here so you can have six previews on a page. If you want to change that, it is totally flexible. The text is also editable, so if you want to change or add more categories, just duplicate your page and change the text. We have also tried to give you the path as to where you'll find your content. So you'll find your backgrounds or your paper packs inside of backgrounds and then in paper packs. And then with each thumbnail, you can see who the designer is and where you can find them. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is make sure you have a browser open. I have mine here. You want to go to memorymixer.com and then go into the design shop. So you're going to say MM Designs. And if you're going to work on your backgrounds, the first thing you'll do is just come over here and open up your um, paper packs. And now all of the paper packs are listed here. So now you can just browse through and look for the paper packs that you have. So butternut paper pack. I'm going to click on that. And then once I have the bigger image here, I'm going to right click on it. So you can see I have a window that opens here, and now I can just copy image. If I am working on a Mac, I will save image to desktop or save as, and then I can drag and drop it on into Memory Mixer. So I'm just going to copy image. And now I've got my browser set up here, and if you can see, I have Memory Mixer just out to the outside edge here, so it makes it very easy to go back and forth. So now I'll just click on Memory Mixer, so I have my memory mixer open, and now all I need to do is come into edit. This is a good tip for you because I, when I said paste, I'm like, oh, my paste is not highlighted, meaning I can't use my paste function. But that is because I have text selected. And if you have a text selected or any other object selected, your paste option isn't available. But I'll click that off. Now I'll come back up here to edit, and my paste is available. Now with Vista, the image comes in large. That's not a problem. All you'll need to do is just drag it over to the side, and now you can drag it up to the photo box you want to drop it into, and it will be sized correctly. So I am not sure why Vista brings it in. Other um, OSs comes in just as a smaller sizing, just drag and drop it the same. So you'll just continue to go through your backgrounds until you get that filled. So here's an example of one of my pages. And you can see how easy that will be then. Once you print it out, you can just flip through your binder and just at a quick glance see what you have. You can first see that it's a paper pack and have the name of the paper pack. You know to look for it in backgrounds and you have the designer's name. So very quickly, you'll be able to see where to find the designs you're looking for. And you'll just continue to do that. The next category we have here are alphabets. So let me show you a page of mine. So here's alphabets. The next thing we have are background builders. And now we have embellishment packs. And then project patterns. Word art, um, memory mixer specialty fonts. Click over here. The next category, quick mixes. So you can also have your quick mixes listed here. Then, if you have any mini kits or mega kits, there are nine different categories, but you can add as many as you want. You could do them by designer if you want, however you want to personalize it. Once you have it done, then you will just come over here to Share Album, 
and print and you'll just print them as full page you can add additional pages and only print the new pages that you've added and then slip them into your binder i think you will really love using your new preview catalog happy mixing